My name is John Hearn and I've written this book. It's called The Very Dangerous Sisters of Indigo MacLeod and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So Indigo MacLeod has four sisters and they rule the town of Blunt with an iron fist. No kid dares do anything to displease or upset them. But one day Indigo decides to be brave, to step up and stand up to his evil sisters. So who are you going to beat in this book? I guess I'll start with the villains. Um, the four sisters. The youngest is Sue McLeod. She's a martial arts expert and she's kind of the henchman of the group. Uh, then you have Root and Berry McLeod, both geniuses. Root and computers. Berry in mechanics and engineering, that sort of thing. And then you have Peaches McLeod. Now, Peaches is the boss. Sweet, beautiful Peaches McLeod. Every parent in Blunt wishes that their daughter were a little bit more like Peaches. She's so kind, so generous. But the kids know better. The children of Blunt know that behind that beautiful exterior is a criminal mastermind. Peaches will stop at nothing to get her way. So our hero, Indigo, how does he stand up to her? Well, Indigo is a very unhero-like hero, I guess. Um, you wouldn't pick him out of a crowd. His one distinguishing physical feature is that his hair is almost completely grey. This is as a result of a trauma that happened many years earlier, and you'll hear more about it in the book. Indigo spends most of his time on the roofs of Blunt. It's up here where he is happiest. Uh, he's very skilled at the jumps and vaults and runs that you need to make in order to cross a roofscape from one end to the other. And he can cross the entire town of Blunt without ever touching the pavement. His best friend is Polly Mole. Um, very smart girl, Polly. Likes the colour brown. A uh, bit obsessed with ducks. And doesn't like to leave her room. She helps Indigo try to figure out what his sisters are up to next. While he is running around the roofs of Blunt, she sits in her room and stays in touch with them via a, ra via a radio that she's made. So, what do they get up to? Well, there's a competition. The Girl Scout who sells the most souvenir calendars gets a bike. And Peaches so badly wants this bike that she has forced every girl and most of the boys in Blunt to sell calendars on her behalf and woe betide anybody who refuses to sell. Lucy Jones, for instance. For instance. Lucy, spiky-haired, happy-go-lucky girl, plays the mandolin. She refuses to sell calendars for Peaches. And what happens to her? She gets scooped up in a digger, which gets completely covered in glue. And then she gets dumped into a container full of breadcrumbs. So she stumbles out of this at the exact same moment that a flock of geese is flying overhead and 347 geese fly down and peck her. This is a terrible experience for Lucy who is a bird phobia. She can't take birds at all. And this is one of the many horrible things that happened to the children in Blunt as a result of Peach's attention. And it's this that Indigo sets out and with his friend Polly sets out to prevent. Um, so that's the story. Uh, that's the book. I'll show it to you again. It's available now in all good bookshops and from littleisland.ie. Okay, thank you for watching.